So the other night, I sat down and watched a movie called Lizzie Borden Took an Axe. And if you've never heard of the story of who Lizzie Borden is, or at least been aware of what she is famous for, basically Lizzie Borden is known as the lady who took an axe and killed her own parents. Uh, Lizzie Borden was born in the Fall River, Massachusetts, July 19, 1860. She was the daughter of Andrew Borden and Abby Gray Borden. Well, at the time, being in a wealthy family, um, living in a house was just Andrew, Abby, her sister Emma, Lizzie, which is herself, and Bridget Sullivan, the maid. Well, if you really want to know the full story of how everything um, risen within the whole family and the whole house, uh, just go ahead and just look it up. Uh, it's on YouTube, um, History Channel. It's all over. It's one of the famous murder stories ever written. Um, basically, what I'm trying to get at I'm not trying to give out really many details, but I just want to tell you the, the whole movie itself was just... It, it kind of like makes you wonder, makes you think. You, you, know, you buy into the story and you realize, okay, so she, maybe she committed a murder, maybe she didn't commit the murder. But as you know, the trial kept going on within the movie. It's, it's, it, it makes you wonder why would you go out your way and just simply not tell the truth? I mean, Lizzie literally took her own hatchet that she had, that she had gotten, struck it nineteen times to her mother's skull. And then again to her father's school, causing it to just make the this. Mm, I can just imagine just just how much it's like. You really have to go see the movie itself. I mean, the movie really kind of does it somewhat justice, but you know, the action of the full story is just it's just. Mm. Hello, I'm Ronald Atkinson, and as you can see, you're getting like an inside look on me actually writing a new blog, which will be published within the next future or so, uh, possibly within the next month or two, once all uh, my relationship phases uh, blogs get um, up and posted. Trust is like glass. Now, let's say I took a glass and I dropped it, and it shattered. Now, I know for a fact that once all that glass is shattered, it's not going to be what it used to be. It's already in a different form. Now, I can probably take the glass back, piece it together, but it's not going to look just the same as it did when it used to be. So, that's what trust is like. Trust is like glass. Because once you have trust in someone 100% completely, and once it's lost, it's not going to be the same. And you know, that person in your life will not be the same person that who once who you thought they were. Trust in me relates to the movie Lizzie Borden took an axe because we live in a world where everyone around you is probably not who they appear to be. At any given time, you really have to watch your back, what you say, what you do, and how you treat other people because at some point in time, someone in your life who may be as close as you think they are, well, some way you eventually betray you. And with that being said, you know, you just never know what they can do to you. Sometimes they can be up against you. Sometimes, you know, they always make you seem like you're a bad person. Sometimes people can be doing stuff behind your back just to secretly bring you down as a person. You know, another thing is words can spread quickly like wildfire. And like most people, people are willing to actually have the nerve to take the words you could say twist it, make a lie about it, and then plot it to use it against you. And what happens next? Well, I mean, basically, once everything spreads out, people are gonna be up against you. And once they're up against you, they're not gonna believe you. Even if you tell the truth, you're gonna believe the whole other story. And there's like, even no evidence is gonna prove it whatsoever. You can have all the evidence you need, and there's not gonna be there. One person who I think you would have 100% complete trust is God.
I encourage you to actually check out this blog. It will be posted within the next month or so. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is, you know, just watch your back at all times. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. How you treat others. Because you never know who's against you. You never know who's for you. You know, you always have to use, you always have to use your mind of what to say at the right times. You always have to know who to speak to at the right times. You really have to have 100% complete faith in someone in order for that trust to not be broken. At me on Twitter, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and also please stay up alert. I always post blogs and I have two blogs written.